somewhere in the Alps. So, Agent Gracefully, you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say my name too often. I'm trying to travel incognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly trash can. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash can. You need a hobby. No, not smelly. Smelly! As in the society of meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Of course, our evil nemesis. Spy Fox, you've got to get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. No, I've got a better idea. I'd better get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Oh, and take this gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. Inside of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those bad guys. Good luck, my luck. Bad guys? Got water? I've got to get out of here. Although this would be a nice getaway cottage, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Please stand by. How's the mission going, Spy Fox? I have a valuable clue which I'm trying to get to you. Uh, what's keeping you? Don't tell me that you're trapped by some goons. You guessed it. Don't forget that you might have a gadget that may get you out of that jam. Forget the jam. How about out of this ski shack? Most definitely. Monkey Penny, out. Mobile Command Bug. Nothing like a game of things from space to get the old heart pumping.
You got the high score. Water, work your magic. The dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. Feet don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. I wonder which way I should go. Which way should I go? Did you miss me, Chief? So you've analyzed the trash bag, I see. And what have you found? It's a model box 1-1000 scale for one evil robot. On the side it says, Some Assembly Required. Sounds like an excellent title for one of my adventures. It has a mailing label that reads, To La Roche, Care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair. Hmm. Inside the box are assembly instructions. You'd better take these with you, Spy Fox. Wow! You can learn a lot by reading. If Smelly is involved, they must be up to their usual no goodness. You'd best go check out this World's Fair. Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. I'm on my way, Chief. Spybox, are you okay? Shaken but not stirred, Monkey Penny. So it looks like we're on to something big. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the Smelly trash bag. Well, of course it's Smelly if you got it out of a trash bag, Spy Fox. No, Monkey Penny, not Smelly. Smelly, as in... The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny, Lying, and Yelling. Our evil nemesis. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the Mobile Command Center. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Don't forget to check out the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to go get busy and go give that LaRoche at the Chateau LaRoche a visit and find out just what he's up to. Please stand by. I'm right behind you, Spy Fox. What do you want? Darn, I was hoping this thing could pick up some cartoons. Spy Fox, out! Spy Heat. This looks like some hot work. How does this gadget work, Professor Quack? Now this gadget, I'm really proud of. You can spray it on something, say like a thermometer, and watch the temperature rise right before your eyes. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. You can say that again. All right. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. 
Hmm. Light on the palate, rough on the tummy. The Fingerprint Replicator Utensil Kit. How does this work, Professor Quack? You'll eat this one up, Spy Fox. You place the fingerprint sending fork device on your target's plate. Then, when they pick it up to start eating, their fingerprint will show up on the fingerprint receiving spoon device. This is hands down one of your best spy gadgets yet, Professor Quack. I hope to follow it up with a matching salt and pepper shaker. Maybe if I mix these with a little goat's milk. Nah, let's not go there. A spy key replicator can. What's the key to this gadget, Professor Quack? That's a one-shot camera, like no other in the world. It's specifically made for replicating keys. You take a picture of the key you want to replicate, then bake it in an oven. The picture shrinks down and hardens into an exact duplicate of the key you took the picture of. It can only hold one picture at a time, but you can take a picture over another picture. If you bake a picture into the wrong key, just insert the key back into the camera and it will turn back into key film. I'm sorry, what did you say? Don't worry, it's a point-and-shoot, easy-bake gadget. It's a good thing I need my fiber. I bet these are cool. Spy skates, they look sharp, Professor Quack. How do they work? I've always loved the grace and beauty of figure skating, but being in the spy biz never left time for the years of training, so I created these. You simply slip them on and insert a diagram of the skate maneuver you want to perform, and voila! The skates, with you in them, perform it perfectly. Well, those could sure help to put the villains on ice. Ah, right, Spy Fox. I like these new blueberry-flavored blueprints. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let waitresses with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of waitress and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Unfortunately, it seems that I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. A free photo booth. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. Clutch. Bounce. Dish. Fisher. Wrestler, waitress, dentist, arena, none. Arena, none. I'll put the photo that's already in the photo slot into the recycle bin. Well, I'm certainly in disguise. This 
is a rather cool looking device. What is it? One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? It's an ID maker. Of my own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Fascinating. How does it work? You place a photo in the photo slot, choose an occupation, and any name you like, then press the Process ID button. A completed ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What if I made an ID, but then I change my mind and want to make a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you could make another card. Just reset the name and occupation. Insert a new photo, then press the Process ID button again. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do, and then only when we're on a case. Right! There, now I can make an ID card. Maurice. Roscoe. Nancy. Muriel. Carlton. Rudy. Nell. Chuck. Reginald. Ballerina. Band leader. Waitress. Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. My identification card is complete. I expect that this will come in quite handy. Here you are, sir. One waitress ID card. Oh my, I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess, it was in your other pants, wasn't it? Why, yes it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Reginald. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow, that plant is from the genus Dianaea, species D. Miscipula. Common name, Venus flytrap. Ah, Napoleon LaRoche. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of smelling. So Spycore has sent the famous Spy Fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Er, uh, of course. Ah! Since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. You see, I reversed the scale on the smelly evil dog bot assembly instructions. I've created a 1000 to 1 scale fully functioning evil dog bot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. You're standing in it. Of course, you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe the means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the World's Fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstiles, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within the evil dog bot. When the one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction! <laughs> Once I have unleashed the dog bot, all the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy! It is unstoppable! It cannot be called off because it has no off switch! Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair. So cleverly, so subtly, that you will never find it! That's what you think, LaRoche! Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. 
which is the only way into the dog bot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, LaRoche. Oh, I think I will. And now, Monsieur Le Spy Fox, I do. Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How humiliating. I must find a way out of this cell so I can stop that evil roach. If I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. I can gather information about La Roche with this talk balloon. La Roche's goons didn't follow the assembly instructions close enough. They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. This gear must go somewhere in here. I wonder where this gear goes. That did the trick. Well, I guess it's like they said. The tooth shall set you free. Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop La Roche and his evil plans for world domination. My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dotty Dash. Where is it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is staticky, and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. You can pick him up here at the Mobile Command Center. By the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans and I'm sending them to you via the Spy Watch. I look forward to hearing the dish. Monkey Penny, out. That bad guy put on those glasses, breathed on that breath device, and the secret door opened. That must be the secret door La Roche mentioned that leads to the inner workings of the evil dogbot. I need to figure out how to get in there. These rose-tinted glasses might come in handy. Is this Plat World? Correct, my dear. I am Madame Ladybug, the slightly irritated owner of Plant World. Instead of the beauteous red rose I ordered, I have been sent a mutant Venus flytrap by Napoleon LaRoche. Nice cage, though. A locked cage for which I have no combination. On top of it all, this particular Venus flytrap has something in its mouth. Interesting. It's the off switch. How diabolical of LaRoche to feed it to a mutant Venus flytrap. I've got to get it out of there and find a rose for the ladybug. No small feat. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about getting a rose for Madame Ladybug. Hmm, it's some kind of combination lock for this display cage. Would you believe me if I told you that I had my own television show on public access called Entering the Wax Museum? Yes, but you may not go in. And don't stand in front of that thermometer. I have to keep a close eye on it. Uh, 
Just watch this spy heat the join up with a demo of his spy heat. Excuse me, but the temperature has gone up well over 80 degrees. Oh no! I must call the air conditioning repair place! Oh dear, I'll be on hold for hours! That spy heat certainly was the hot ticket. Wolfgang Duck, an innovative chef known for his imaginative pairings of fresh local ingredients with his own version of what's tasty today. I like to cook, and I'm an imaginative fox. A chef outfit just might come in handy. The door is locked. Which key should I... Which key should I photograph? Key 4. Those are really nice roses. Thanks. I threw them to ice skaters to do a perfect single snow boot. I can gather information about the single snow boot ice skate move with this talk balloon. I need ice skates to ice skate. Here's where my... What do you know about the single snow boot ice skating move? You look tense. Let me give you a massage. I tell you, kiddo, I did the single snow boot as the mass she bear. In fact, that skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi-monthly magazine Skaters Weekly in a color diagram and everything. Color diagram? May I have that... It's all yours, sweetie. Thanks. Hold up there, sir. You have a stamp on your hand? No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hand so you can get back into the fair. There you are, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Spy Fox, I've been waiting for you. Smelly is up to their usual bag of dirty tricks, I see. Walter Wireless, Spy Corps' top tracking buff. Good to be working with you again, Walt. Uh, you too, Spy Fox. The last time I ended up with a fever from being cat scratched. Right. Sorry about that. So, you picked up a microfish message from Dottie Dash. That's right, but all I could make out was something regarding an off-switch activation code before the signal went dead. I've got to find Dottie Dash, Spy Fox. This must be important. 
The signal was traced to an exhibit in a fair called Wee World. Wee World, eh? Sounds like your kind of place. Well, hop aboard, Walter, and I'll get you into this Wee World. I'm in there like swimwear. Heh, <laughs> that's my line. Professor Quack, what does it mean when the ID machine does this? I believe it means that the machine is broken. It looks like that machine is permanently out of service. It's a good thing I was able to make my ID card before it broke. Go right in, Reginald. I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to myself, my, it has been a long time since I last prepared food inside a giant mechanical dog. Yes, well, of course, as a fellow master chef, you are welcome to make use of my kitchen. That's very generous of you. I believe I... But you may not use my wooden spoons. The purple ones, they are mine and I need them. Of course, how foolish of me. You know, of course, that too many master chefs spoil the broth. Chef Dinah, I can honestly say that compared to you, I am merely an imposter. No, oh, Wolfgang. You are such a kidder. You are too kind, too kind. Stir, stir, stir. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. I have to admit that at first I thought Professor Quack's idea for a spy camera was half-baked, but it turns out to be pretty hot stuff. Someone's in the kitchen with Tyna. I'll leave my chef outfit here, just in case I need it later. Now I'm set to show off the moves I've learned in the Spy Ice Follies. This should do the trick. I was so good, I burned the skates out. Oh well, I don't need them anymore. You did it, kid! I haven't seen a move like that since Sonia Henpeck! Thank you. What a perfect red rose.
where do you think you're going? That exhibit is closed. It's all right. I have a key. Oh, well. If you've got a key, then go right in. Ah, the right key. Excellent. See, I told you I had a key. This opening is too small to get through. It'll take someone much smaller than myself to get through. There you go, Walter. You've got to find Dotty Dash, the microfish. You can count on me, Spy Fox. This car is my ticket to the dream house. This is the only way to travel. What a shocking waste of valuable attic space. Well now, things are starting to look up. I've been told that it's impolite to stare, but in this case, I'll make an exception. This button opened that door. The refrigerator is now in cold storage. My instinct tells me I'm getting closer to Donnie Dash's location. I can open and close the top drawer with this button, but will it sort my socks? And the $74 million question is, who invented the retractable TV? This button opens and closes the bottom drawer. Typically, I would open and close the drawer by hand. Calm, cool thinking pays off. Film at 11. Around and around and down. This is Walter Wireless. Eureka! Astounding! There is a bathtub in the floor, and it looks deep. That closed the floor over the tub. Walter, I'm glad you found me. I've been on surveillance here in WeWorld, searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has to do with some activation code. My equipment went on a fritz before I could get the whole message to you in Spy Corps, but I think it's really important. I'm sure it is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? Not smelly. Smelly. The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. All right. Our evil nemesis. So what was the rest of the message? I need to transmit it to Spy Fox right away. Of course. The activation code is cherry, apple, orange. Got it. Walter Wireless calling Spy Fox. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did you find Dottie Dash? I did. I'm going to transmit the activation code Dottie intercepted to you via the Spy Watch. Stay tuned. Cherry, apple, orange. I've got it, Walt. Good job, Dottie. Thanks, Spy Fox. The rest is up to you now. Good luck, Spy Fox. This is Walter Wireless signing off. I've got the off switch activation code. Now that LaRoche is in for it. I had waited in line for over 12 hours to ride the ride. Famous French pastries of the past. A cream field adventure. It was the highlight of the fair. Yeah. It then it refused 
to let me on because I was not tall enough to go to the turnstile. Dollar kids laughed at me. I thought that one day it would be I who would do the laughing. Ha ha ha! I am laughing. Ha ha! See, it is I who is laughing. Yes. Very soon the evil dog will be fully wound. And without the off switch there, there will be no way for anyone to stop me from crushing all the turret tires and conquering the world! Better answer my spy watch. Please stand by. Spy Fox, an informant has a hot tip about the off switch and is waiting for you at the Food of the Future exhibit. Ask for the candy apple. The candy apple. Got it. Thanks. Monkey Penny signing off. Spy Fox out. So that's my contact, eh? Brilliant disguise. I'd like a candied apple, please. Certainly, sir. Here at Food of the Future, all food is on sticks. It allows you to enjoy your favorite foods without using a knife or fork or having to stop what you're doing. Here you go, a free candied apple on a stick sample. Well, I have the candied apple. Isn't that just grand? Yes, but I, meaning me, have in my possession the candied apple. Only one candied apple sample per customer. Now run along and enjoy the fair, Pumpkin. Maybe she wants me to come back when there are less people around. Oh well, this candied apple looks good. Watch what you're doing. You want to give me a coronary? Ah, Lenny, you're the apple of my eye. What information do you have for me? Hi, Spy Fox, listen close. There are spies everywhere, so don't look directly at me. This leaf contains the information that you need. This is too small to read. What do you want from me? I wrote it with my teeth. Now I got the split. People are starting to stare. Throw me in the dumpster. Suit yourself. Oh! I'm all right. Save yourself. How about lending me your dark goggles? Since I don't have my lucky clear goggles, I need something to wear for my act. Even though these ones are so dark, I keep missing the target. These glasses really add a rosy glow to the whole fair. Groovy. What's this? It looks like a pair of binoculars. I can see that goon breathing into the analyzer. Something's appearing on screen. It looks like pickle pot pie. That breath analyzer is checking for the aroma of pickle pot pie. I just need to eat some pickle pot pie and breathe into that breath analyzer and then I'll be able to get in that evil dog box. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the breath analyzer food pickle pot pie.
I can see a square, a star, and a triangle on this leaf. Madame, would this rose be suitable? I thank you. Now, if I could only open that display cage, I would replace that mutant flytrap with this beautiful rose. Sadly, however, I was not given the combination. I see. But you can still have the flytrap. Houdini, I'm not. I'll have to find the combination to that locked display cage. The flytrap is locked in this display cage by this rather interesting lock. I did it! Oh, thank you, sir. I'll just replace that atrocious flytrap with his beauteous rose. Nicely done. I can dispose of that flytrap for you. How polite. Obviously, you're a fox with home training. Yes, I am housebroken, thank you. Go right in, Reginald. <laughs> Can you prepare pickle pot pie? Why, I won the French Cooking Medal of Honor for my pickle pot pie. And of course I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have one pickle right now. Can't you make it with the one pickle you do have? Absolutely not. Good pickle pot pie must be made with exactly two pickles. Here, you can take this one, and if you can find another exactly like it, I'd be more than happy to make you some pickle pot pie. Thanks, Chef. Two pickles, eh? I'll get those for you on the double. Stir, stir, stir. Welcome to you clone it where well, you, you get, get two, 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 two for, for the, the price, price of one. Bah. Stereo sheep. I'm Doll and I'm Lee. Hello, Dollar. So nice to have you back where you belong. I have this pickle. Don't come running to us with your trouble. I think he wants us to quote it, Doll. Very well, Lee. You do the honors. No, after you. I insist. No, please, after you. I'll do it. Don't touch that! Isn't that amazing? Yes, but does it do julienne fries? You can always tell what a customer is not going to buy, Lee. You speak the truth, doll. Go right in, Reginald. Stir, stir, stir. Here you are, two big juicy pickles. Wonderful! 
how exciting that you should find two so identical. They appear to be exactly alike. Perhaps they're related. The secret to gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. Voila! Oh, thank you! Oh, my breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot dog. The Achilles heel door is locked and I've got to crack the code to get inside. What do you know about that? Pickle pot pie did the trick. Now I can come and go as I please. La Roche's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. I must be in the belly of La Roche's evil beast. I should have a look around. Look at them. The fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are making possible my plans for world domination. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. Gears in turn rooting a giant underground thread screw that passes below the fair to the base of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. From there, another series of gears turn, spinning the drive shaft, which turn yet more gears that wind up the massive spring that will power my unstoppable evil dog bot. When the one million tourists come to the turnstile, my evil dog bot will be completely wound. And then, I will unleash the dogbot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly! <laughs> Holy Roach, that is a good one. Huh? Hmm, the opening and closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition device. I wonder what would happen if... A picture of La Roche. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. I'll bet if I want to get into that room, I'll have to find a way to get a copy of La Roche's fingerprint. Those mutant Venus flytraps sure have a taste for flies. I guess that's why they're called flytraps. I thought I heard someone say, walk into the light. I have to find a way to shield my eyes.
I can't go over there while the guard is watching. The guard is watching, so I'd better wait. Hmm, that makes the conveyor belt go faster. I have the goggles. I believe these are yours, Kate's card. My lucky goggles! I can't believe my eyes! Ugh, everything sure smells a lot different with these on. You mean, looks a lot different, don't you? No, smells a lot different. Where'd you find these? Sorry, they've been in my pocket for a while. Can I borrow your dark goggles, Cape Cod? Heck, son, you can have them. I don't need them anymore. Best not to use them for flying out of a cannon, though. Thanks, that's good to know. Go right in, Reginald. Oh, gracious me. Oh, my, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh. Excuse me, what's the matter? I don't have a single fork for Mr. LaRoche's dinner, and he gets so surly when he has to wait for his food. Well, you know the old saying, surly to bed and surly to rocks. Ah. That's LaRoche's dinner? Yes, spit-roasted boot bernays. Don't tell me. The sauce isn't... Oh, yes it is. Ew. I think I'm going to be sick. Now where are all those forks? Here you are. It so happens I carry a fork for just this kind of situation. A fork? been looking all over for one. I learned in boot camp it pays to have a fork at all times. Thank you. I'd better get this spit roasted boot bernays out to Napoleon the Roach before he starts acting like a heel. It's only a matter of time now before I have La Roach's prince. <laughs> spit roasted boot bernays, my favorite dish. This boot was made for eating. And that's just what I'll do. Pretty soon that boot is going to be inside of you. There it is. Stirs. Now I'm almost ready to give La Roche the boot. And I don't mean for dinner. A little tough, but still good. <laughs> Someone's in the kitchen with time. No. Didn't anyone ever tell you that evil doesn't pay? Actually, it doesn't pay well, but it does have a great health plan, and you get stock options. It's back to jail for you, Spy Fox, and stop escaping. I have evil to do. Ow. 
no time to waste. I've got to get out of here and save the world. Excellent. I seem to have demolished the bad guy's security wiring so effectively that they haven't been able to fix it yet. UV rating 750. These should show me the light in a good way. The light is bright, but this spy is brighter. That looks just like the perfect place to set this mutant Venus flytrap. That mutant Venus flytrap prefers to eat flies instead of off switches for giant evil dog bots. I have the off switch. La Roche's evil scheme is crumbling. Soon my diabolical plan will reach its fiendish fruition. I will be unstoppable. For who or what can possibly stand up to the onslaught of a big giant mechanical dog robot? My sophisticated machine of menace will march across the surface of the earth and claim it in my name. People will shout my name to the skies. Le Roach! Le Roach! Le Roach! I will say, yes, what is it? All the world leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. It's quite an evil plan, no? <laughs> this a try, shall we? Like the old song says, a spoonful of La Roche's fingerprint helps the steel door go down. That must be where I need to set the off switch activation code. At last, the off switch is in its place and the activation code is set correctly. Finally, the one million customer has come to the turnstile. The dog bot is now fully operational. Let's get it!
I don't think this is a good sign. I hope Low Roach has earthquake insurance. Dog bot. Sit. What? Spy box. You called? LaRoche, your evil days are over. I don't think so. The sun has not yet set. Should go in after it. That LaRoach won't get away from me. I wonder what he's up to now. That spy fox thinks he's so smart. I have one more trick to play before I make my escape through these sewer pipes. This computer program will set up a million toasters hidden in the dog box. Together, the toasters will simultaneously burn a million pieces of toast leaving a dark gray cloud hanging over the fair for the next 10 months. Much like Seattle. Oh no! There's a bug in the program! Ah! I must check my variables and track down all the straight pixels! That dastardly LaRoach won't get away with that. Not with Spy Fox on his trail. It says, in case of emergency, break glass. I'd say this is an emergency. I think that made the pipe move. This ball peen hammer looks interesting. It might come in handy. I've got it! There, that moved the sewer grate out of the way. It's down the drain for you, LaRoche! What? You again! Such a commendable job in catching Napoleon the Rose Spy Fox, you'll get my eternal gratitude. I had excellent help on this case, Chief. Ah, yes. 
I present to you the Grand Golden Family Approved Fortified Supreme Certificate of Excellence. Thanks, Chief. It was all in the line of duty. For the deductive reasoning and daring deeds displayed in disabling the dangerous and destructive evil dogbot, for saving the World's Fair from the total devastation, and for defeating the deceptively dastardly and decidedly deceitful villain Napoleon LaRoche, you are hereby awarded this certificate of accomplishment along with Spy Corps' highest honors and unyielding gratitude. Signed by the Spy Corps' chief and stamped with the Spy Corps' wax seal of excellence.